Hi, I'm Denise Side, your church council president. And I'm Charles. So many exciting things are happening at Gloria Day. People's lives are being touched. Uh, it's just a great ministry to be involved in. But with such health and vitality, there's always a concern about maintaining that. The council, the staff, the human resources, the leadership of the congregation has been talking for well over a year now about uh, the need for uh, a fourth pastor. But as we talk about that, we just have not seen a clear path to making that happen. Recently, an unexpected opportunity presented itself, and we'd like to share it with you. A candidate for ministry who knows us and understands the unique culture here at Gloria Day is interested in pursuing a relatively uncommon half-time call as a pastor. Now, we've been interested in this particular candidate for a while now, but because of restrictions placed on, on her by the broader ELCA and our synod, she just wasn't available for us to even consider. But all that changed recently because of the ELCA process. Suddenly the same restrictions no longer apply, and this candidate is available to us if we choose. We feel God's Spirit might be at work here. Three paths are available to us to address the need for a fourth pastor here at Gloria Day. First is the unique path where we interview and discern this one and only candidate. Again, we didn't know this person was available to us until recently, so we feel God's Spirit has maybe nudging us to do so. This person would be half-time, and there's somebody who already knows us and understands our unique culture. In addition, matching funds from uh, members of our congregation have been offered in the area of $10,000 to bolster our budget to support this newly formed position for the remainder of the year. Second is the traditional path. This is the most common path for calling a pastor to serve at a congregation. It would involve a congregational self-study, crafting a budget to support the need in 2018 or 2019, gathering a call committee, and ultimately calling a pastor to Gloria Day by September of 2018. Keep in mind, this would likely be a full-time pastor, which would come at a significantly higher cost. Half-time calls for pastors are not common. Finally, we could choose no path at all and opt not to pursue a fourth pastor. As I said earlier, uh, the unique path came as a surprise to us. Well, this is not a typical approach. We feel God's spirit at work here, and as a congregation, we should at least consider it. As we move forward, we ask you to consider a few things. First, would you keep this in prayer? Second, would you consider joining us at one of our informational meetings in the next few weeks? And finally, time is limited to unlock the matching funds. No gift is too small, and every gift is appreciated to meet our $10,000 challenge grant. Even $60 per household would help to make this a reality. Thank you so much for your consideration, your discernment, and your prayers. Gloria Day is a vibrant and healthy community with a bright future. We look forward to seeing where God is leading us.